Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a simple and really affordable DIY, how I transform this chair to this. I hope you guys enjoy, let's begin. So as you can see, the fabric is in perfect condition, so I didn't want to remove the fabric. All I wanted to do is cover it up. So I wanted to double check right here in this section, how exactly was this placed? As you can see, the ribbon was glued to the fabric and the fabric was stapled onto the cushion. So later on, what I'm going to do is follow those steps just because I'm not a professional and I don't want to mess it up. So what I'm going to do is try to save the pink fabric and I'm going to add some tape all around the fabric all around the edges basically and then I'm going to cover the fabric with some garbage bags so when it's time to spray paint nothing will get through the fabric now I'm going to sand the chair first of course clean all that sand out and then I'm going to spray paint I went with black just because I want this chair to match my computer desk so I went with the black. This spray paint, I got it from Walmart. I will list everything down below in the description box for you guys. And this is how it turned out. As you can see, there's a lot of black around the garbage bags. That is why I covered that fabric. Now to cover up the seat, I am going to use this black fabric and also this black ribbon that I got from Joann's. And then, as you can see right now, removing the tape, the fabric was completely saved. Again, just in case I changed my mind. And then after that, what I did was I placed the fabric that I bought, which was two yards. Get two yards just in case you mess up. I didn't, thank God. But two is plenty. Like, it, it gave so much. I could have done actually another seat if I wanted to but just get two just in case you do mess up again it's better to just have backup after I placed the fabric right on top of the chair I started stapling the back just when I just just in case when I stretch it at least the back is put and it just gives me a steady um, way for me to basically be able to staple everything else and then of course I went all over the sides and stapled the chair once I get to the edges I did cut everything towards the edges as you can see right here and then I started gluing the ribbon around the chair just like it was before I end up pinning the ribbon to each corner just so it could stay steady while it's drying and it also helps me for the ribbon to stay put so when I have to turn it around in those corners it won't move so that was just for me it was more helpful to just place those pins in each corner of the chair and once that step was done this is how the chair looks i really like the fact that it matches perfectly with the black handles on my computer desk that is why i chose for the chair to be completely black also this desk i diy so stay tuned for that video i hope you all enjoyed this very simple and affordable diy thank you all so much for watching and i will see you on my next video bye guys